I want to show you an example of an odds ratio calculation using SPSS. I want to take data from an actual study from 1950, a seminal work by Doll and Hill, where they were looking at the causal link between smoking and cancer. Now this is the data just for the men in the study. There were 649 men who were selected as cases, in other words, those who had lung cancer and a matching 649 men who did not have lung cancer but were matched for age and demographic background etc. Now this is a data table that I've extracted from the paper and it shows you a typical odd ratio data table with exposure category E and not E referring to whether they were smoker the exposure was present or not e where the exposure was not present i.e. they were a non-smoker and then the values for the disease present in this case lung cancer uh, and disease not present the control that goes with the cases now to put this into SPSS we don't just replicate the table but it's not too dissimilar let me show you OK, so here's SPSS and you can see that I have replicated those values um, and I've had to categorise two groups. One which was the exposure category, whether they were a smoker or a non-smoker. And the other which categorised the disease outcome, whether they subsequently had lung cancer or did not have lung cancer. Now, let me show you how these variables were set up. These three variables, exposure, condition, the disease condition, and what I've called count or frequency. And you'll notice that I've set them up to all be the nominal level of data. That's important. For my exposure category, I've set up just some codes for my convenience. So one is smoker, two is non-smoker. For my disease condition, one is a lung cancer sufferer and two is somebody without lung cancer. SPSS needs to know that these values in the count column are frequencies. So before I carry out the odds ratio test, I must tell SPSS about this nature of the data being frequencies. So I click on the data pull down menu, go right down to the very bottom where it says weight cases, and I'm going to ask SPSS to weight the cases by frequency. So I click on my variable called frequency and pop it into the frequency variable. Click OK so it now understands how I've set up my numbers. OK. Now running an odds ratio test I click on analyze, go into descriptive statistics and select cross tabs which is short for cross tabulation. In the rows pane I will put the exposure category and then in the columns pane I'll put the di disease condition category. Then I will click on cells because I also want to pull out the percentages for my final outcome and in the statistics well I simply want the risk. It will calculate odds ratio and risk ratio although risk ratio is not relevant for this because this is a case control study. Click on continue, click on OK and there I have my results. The top table is simply a summary of valid data points. It recognises I've got two lots of 649 which is 1298 data points. Um, it's replicated now what you would recognize as my data table. Uh, it's also given row totals and column totals as well. And it's also given me the percentage of each total that goes with its category. Where the odds ratio results come out is in the top line of the bottom table called risk estimate. And my odds ratio comes out to be 14.04. 
Now it's also calculated the 95% confidence interval and give me a lower and upper value for the interval. And importantly, you can see that the 95% confidence interval does not contain the value 1. So we can say that our results are statistically significant. Now SPSS will also give the relative risk, also known as the risk ratio, and here it is highlighted just for comparison. However, as this was a case control study, in other words we were looking backwards in time, it was a retrospective study, it wouldn't be appropriate here to read off relative risk.